Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to change frequency of fetching new data to your mail and what it does on the iPhone. So today in front of me is the iPhone 12 with the iOS 17.4, but it really doesn't matter which iPhone you have or which version of the iOS you have, it is all going to work the same on every iPhone. So. What you want to do is to open settings, then swipe down, tap on the mail, then go to the accounts and then go to the fetch new data. So if you turn on the push option, the new data will be pushed to your iPhone from the servers when this is possible. So you have, I do have like iCloud mail and also the Yahoo mail, as you can see. So you can turn on this feature, but this is going to uh, drain more battery obviously because you know it is going to check your uh, for example iQuad email uh, constantly all the time so if you don't want to uh, drain more data uh, uh, more battery just leave it off also you can change for the specific uh, options uh, like you know calendars the iCloud and the uh, mail you can change those option as uh, as you can see just by clicking on them so the fetch means the time that you set right here so the schedule below is used when push is off or for application which do not support push for better battery life uh, for better battery life fetch less frequently so if you don't want uh, if you turn off the push this is going to use those settings right here so if you click manually it is only going to check uh, for updates when the application is in use so for example if you use for the iCloud the manual option uh, your iCloud your mails calendars you know everything from iCloud is not going to not going to update uh, unless you open the specific application so uh, I prefer to use it on the fetch and then everything right here just clicking on the fetch also my mail uh, main the yahoo mail use it in the fetch and here we can change those options so uh, automatically means that my iphone is going to fetch new data in the background only when on power so you know just charging and one file and with the Wi-Fi network. I can set manually, so this is going to, as I said before, only check for new data once I open, for example, the mail app. If I'm not going to open it for the whole day, I'm not going to get any emails, so keep that in mind. And you can set it to hourly, so every hour. So for example, the, you know, following check is going to be at uh, 4 p.m. Or yeah, I can set it every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes. I prefer to have it every 15 minutes because it is okay time for me to check the mails, uh, for example, or the iCloud. I don't need to have it, you know, updated all the time. Just 15 minutes is okay. So this is going to significantly uh, drain less battery because it is not going to, you know, search for the new data all the time from the servers uh, to download it. So this is a, you know, useful feature if you want to have more battery. So again, how to get to the settings. Open settings, swipe down, tap on mail, then tap on accounts, then tap on fetch new data. Turn off the push because if you have the push on, this is this doesn't really matter because it is going to check for the data constantly and then just uh, check if you have everything set to fetch if you want to have it as i do have right now and set fetch to every 15 minutes or the time that you want to so this is it thanks for watching i hope this video helped you if it did please leave a like and consider to subscribe to our channel. Bye.